Well, it's the next morning, but two weeks later. Does that make any sense? Anyway, two weeks has passed. I got back from Kelowna last night, and uh, everything is just the way you saw it two weeks ago. And this uh, glue has really dried. Now surprisingly, people have actually been watching this experiment here. One guy actually said that he wants me to hurry up, the two weeks is up, or the, no, he said the ten days is up. He says the suspense is killing him, so I guess I better get at this. Now two of these glue up samples I'm going to sand flush, get rid of all the squeeze out, and the other two I'm going to soak in water. Now I know that in video one I said I was not going to do a strength test, but I've changed my mind. And being as I have an extra of each type of glue, I'm going to do the strength test on these ones that I sanded. And I'm going to go on the computer here and show you why. These two brown squares represent the two pieces of wood. And the yellow here, that represents the glue. Now, when I clamped the two pieces of wood together, we had the squeeze out. And I'm just concerned that possibly this squeeze out, if I don't take it off, is going to sort of spoil the test because this is all about joint strength. And the idea is that the joint is supposed to be stronger than the surrounding wood. In other words, it'll break somewhere else, not at the joint. At least that's what they say. I've never actually tested it out before, until just now. Now I realize I've got two different types of wood here going, well, the same kind of wood, but different grain. So it's not a real fair test, but I've tried to keep the joint equidistance from this support as it is to that support. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure right on the center of the joint and see where it breaks. This is just for fun actually. Okay, it's harder to break than I thought. Okay, you know the old saying, where there's a will there's a way. And here's a way. Apparently not a very good way. Let's take another bite at it here. Okay, for sure this time. Yep. Okay, this is the piece that has the cheap carpenter's glue. And uh, trying to be as fair as possible here, but I'm going to make a prediction. It's also going to be the same results. So here we go. These two pieces are from the cheap carpenter's glue, and these two are the tight bond 3. And you can clearly see that in both cases that uh, there's wood from this piece is on this piece and from this piece is on this piece. And uh, this one here, it, uh, it didn't even break anywhere near the joint. So uh, anyway, bottom line is the uh, joint held and the wood let go. But that's sort of what I expected was going to happen. Well, here's hopefully I can get this to peel off without breaking. Yeah, that's the tight bond three. And there's the cheap carpenter's glue. Now we'll get some cold water. Well, if there's one thing Canada has, it's a lot of fresh cold water. Okay, that's a cheap carpenter's glue. We'll make sure that the joint is completely immersed. 
And we'll put in our other little piece here. And once again, make sure the joint's going to be completely immersed. Now, find a place to put this so that it's not going to be disturbed. For sure, we don't want to be shaking it up. Well, I hardly ever use this shelf. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for two weeks. I'm going to make a prediction. I think this cheap carpenter's glue is going to be dissolved. And I think the Type Bond 3 isn't. I think that the joint on that piece is going to break quite easily and the joint on this piece is going to hold. We'll check it in two weeks. <laughs>